Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video to any of you having a vehicle with electric vacuum pump and you need to test that pump if it's activating, if it's working, if it's holding pressure, because if it's not working correctly guys, you may experience heartbreak paddle and multiple vacuum problems as well. Now, uh, most of those vehicles nowadays, you have multiple designs such as hybrids, even non-hybrid vehicles guys, they may turn the engine off at traffic lights, things like that, and you need to have electric uh, vacuum pump. Even some older vehicles that weren't vac uh, 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 hybrids or anything like that back in the day had only electric vacuum pumps. This is uh, if let's say your engine turns off for some reason you will still have nice brakes because otherwise if that pump doesn't work your brake pedal can get hard and you have a limited stopping ability as well. We'll explain how to test it without even getting your hands dirty today. Before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can get all those uh, parts, tools for amazing price, that's where we get everything from as well. Vacuum pumps could be really hard to get to sometimes. You need to remove a few hoses here to get to it. It's located on the right side of the engine here, guys. Uh, that's where the vacuum lines go. Uh, and if we go inside that vehicle now, guys, doesn't matter which vehicle you have, okay? You need to find the OBD port. This is where the diagnostic tool connects. In our case, it's under this cover right here. It says OBD. Yours may be under the dash somewhere, so look for it. It looks like this one. Okay, you remember just a regular OBD port. Uh, the computer that we'll be using is the Think scanner. It's amazing. I'll put the link in the description of the video below exactly which one it is. This thing is like a dealer level equipment, turns your phone into super powerful computer that can read, delete code, see live data for every computer system. You can do programming, actuation tests, practically dealer level equipment almost guys in your pocket. It's amazing. It will pay itself off in one time use. So, or it could pay itself off in one time use actually. So, what we need to do, turn the ignition switch on. Do not start the car. We will go to all systems diagnostics, VIN decoding. It will connect, read the VIN number. Once it reads it, it will decode it and tell us that we have a 4C Max 2013 model. You will see in a second. Okay, it's loading. 4C Max 2013. It may ask you to make sure that the ignition switch is on or you may need to turn it off and then back on. Just follow the instructions on the screen. Different cars use different procedure. Now it's going to communicate with all the computers. These modern cars may have up to 50, 60 computers, guys. It's unbelievable. And just this Ford itself probably has more than 35. We'll go to system selection here. Okay, uh, let me show you now all the things you have here. Model programming, special function, system scan, health reports. Under system selection, we'll go to uh, ABS, anti-lock braking system, but check out all the computers that are here. I didn't count them, but <laughs> probably somebody will in the comment section uh, and see if we have at least 30. We'll go to ABS. Here, we'll go to actuation test. Under actuation test, we'll go all the way down, it's in uh, alphabetical order, we'll select vacuum pump status. Yours may be a little bit different name, it could be a brake pump, vacuums, anything like that. Uh, we'll add a stream here and we'll select the vacuum pressure, okay, it's important to keep eye on the pressure to make sure that the pump is pumping, not just turning on. Vacuum pressure, vacuum pump status, okay, those three parameters are on. Now, if your pressure is approaching close to zero PSI or uh, bars, whatever you're using, that means that you have a vacuum leak somewhere and you need to fix it. You, the system needs to keep vacuum pressure, okay, if you don't use brake power or anything like that. When I go ahead and activate it, what will happen? You hear the vacuum pump activating and you will see the pump will be building pressure as well. Check it out now. I'll turn it again. It, it will run for only a couple of seconds. So that pump is pumping, as you can see. It's creating more vacuum. 
uh, which is gray, it turns on, so that's how it matters. It's important that it turns on and it creates vacuum as well. Now, in some cases, if you press the brake pedal, let's go ahead and press the brake pedal. Vacuum may go down, it depends on the system, because the booster will be using vacuum. Okay, we'll press the brake pedal and vacuum goes down. Press again a few times and watch the pump will activate at negative nine. Okay, let go now and the pump will activate on its own to build pressure guys until it reaches around negative 11. Okay, perfect, right there. That will be the optimum uh, pressure for that specific car. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.